Hey, I'm Tiana Alexandra, and welcome to my channel. My ends are pretty sealed off, so I have my work cut out ahead of me. What you'll need is a spray bottle. I'm using a mister, which is regular tap water. Conditioner, this is a moisturizing conditioner, which I do recommend any type of moisturizing conditioner. And you'll need a fine tooth comb. This one has a metal pick at the end, which is very, very handy for taking down these locks. Here, I'm just measuring them out. I wanted you all to see how long my lock was before taking it down. And I believe it's around the 10 inch mark, a little longer than 10 inches. First thing you wanna do is saturate your lock with water. You do not wanna take these locks down dry. So here I'm balling it up and I'm spraying it because it's easier since it's longer. I'm taking it apart at the root because the roots are not locked up and I'm going down as far as I can so I know how much I actually have to comb out. So there you see it. That's how much I can pull. It's about a couple of inches. Here I'm just gonna show you how much lock I have to take down. You wanna saturate the entire lock and conditioner focusing on the ends primarily because that's what you'll be combing out first. For this lock in particular, it took me about 15 minutes roughly to comb out. Then you wanna just spray it with some more water. If you ever feel like the lock is getting dry, spray water first before putting on the conditioner because the water is the moisture. Now here I'm starting with the very tip of the comb and I'm working it through the end of my lock. And I actually replaced the comb that I was using for aesthetic purposes because my comb lost a lot of teeth during this process. Here, what you're seeing, I'm on my last like 15 locks. So you see that little loop? That hair is coiled inside of the rest of the lock. So you have to work your way up in order to free the actual end of the hair. Now you see me taking my metal pick at the end of my comb and I'm just putting it through that loop so that I can free the end. Here it's free and it's a really, really tight knot. So I'm gonna actually lose that part. Your locks will get dry and you'll have to continue to add water and conditioner, which is fine. You want it as saturated as possible because it makes it easier to comb through the lock. If you wanna retain more length, what you need to do is work slowly. You need patience in order to do this in time, so this should not be a rush job. I'm just making this video to show you that there is an alternative to cutting your locks off and you can actually comb them out. This is actually my second time combing out my locks. I've had locks um, two times. As you get further up the lock, you'll see your length um, starting to come out. Now, I don't bank on keeping all the length that I've retained because your ends definitely need to get clipped after doing something like this. But as you go up the lock, you just wanna move up a little bit at a time and just start to bring that comb down. Then you'll end up separating it so that you can continue to move down with your comb. And all of that shed hair is beginning to make the lock look like um, it's in its budding phase. Continuing to move up until I can't anymore. So you see me taking it apart and this is where it starts to look like a little spider web, but that is all of your shed hair.
so then I just comb through the lock and I get the rest of that loose hair out and this is all of the hair that I lost from that one lock. Here I am combing through it again, just getting the rest of it and I'm gonna stretch it out and measure it for you all so that you can see how long the hair is. Now this is two years worth of growth because I've had this set of locks for two years and about uh, three weeks. So it is about 21, 22 inches. And I think the lock itself was about 10 and a half, 11 inches. So it's doubled. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was insightful for those of you who are looking to take down your locks or someone else's. If you'd like to see the entire process or the results of me taking out all of my locks, be sure to tune into my two-year lock comb out video.